31 is learning more about a guy who is known to police all across the country as the piggyback bandit. Sherwin Shagan is his name, has a reputation that stretches from Seattle to New Jersey. His latest arrest happened, though, in Morgan County when he jumped on a football player's back and handed him a dirty note. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Schaefer. And I'm Demetria McClinton. Way 31's Brittany Collins is live at Falkville High to explain why police think this man could be dangerous. Well, the police, she tells me that this is where Sharon Shagan approached that high school football player, and then he followed him out to the field house, gave him a note that also contained $20, but it's what's inside of the note that was so troubling. Um, he should use his rear end for more than just pooping and farting. Um, so being a little weirded out about that, he talks to his mom about it. That's what was inside the note Sharon Shagan gave to a football player after he jumped on the player's back during the pep rally. In the note, he also complimented the football player on his shorts, told him to use the money wisely, and made other inappropriate comments. Nobody knows who he is. It's kind of strange because then we get a couple of calls that, you know, someone seen him at a restaurant in Huntsville at Applebee's and then once at Connors. Police Chief Chris Free told me Shagan is from Seattle. He told police he flew to Huntsville to visit, then saw on TV that Falkville was having a pep rally and decided to go. He says, you know, this is just what he does. He does it for fun. Way 31 learned Shagan is banned in five states and has been posing as the piggyback bandit since 2008. Chief Free said more charges could come. Is he a sexual uh, sex offender? Has he ever been registered? Does he have other sexual crimes? Is it just the piggyback ride and it's just harassment? And, and that's where we're at. And Free said deputies found several other pre written notes on Shagan, not addressed to anyone specifically, but for more players in North Alabama. Huntsville High, Austin High, Fairfield Inn. And $484. When he was arrested, he really didn't seem upset. He was, you know, I, you know, I guess you would say more excited about it. Incident happened because all of the football players were in this area heading to the field house. Right now, reporting live in Falkville, Brittany Collins, Way 31 News. All right.